So today we want to introduce um, an innovation that we think is going to change the way developers access location on mobile phones. So we know that today it's been location uh, in the mobile environment has been very much driven, and rightfully so, uh, off of what's happening on smartphones, particularly iPhone, which has educated both consumers in addition to developers on the power of how you can use location. Um, and we think that's great, that's phenomenal. Um, there are some constraints and unaddressed markets that we think have immense potential that we're also trying to, tr trying to bring uh, to bear. If you look at some of the statistics when it comes to um, location-based services and where the market is, um, we see a situation where 82% of people don't have, locate, don't have smartphones. Um, so 18% of, the, of, of these subscribers in the United States having smartphones, and this grows at 1% a quarter. Uh, and even aggressive estimates aren't going to bring us to the scale, to the 70% you know, scale that's required uh, for some of the services that we'll, that we'll, that we'll, that we'll talk about. Um, also, you know, not every smartphone is, is, is GPS-enabled. Uh, and the other key thing to note is that you typically need a downloadable application to take advantage of location. There's browsers that are coming along that will kind of help change that. But the typical model is I download an application. And in the case of the most popular smartphone, the iPhone, you have to have that application running to extract location. So one of the questions that we get asked is, does location really matter beyond smartphones? Um, and um, if you look at the statistics, um, there we go. Um, and what's been happening in the wireless world, we know mo mo the mobile is very much about location. More than half of SMSs that are sent, that's 65 billion in 2010, just in the US alone, by the way, ask where are you? Location is something that's pervasive that everybody, smartphone or not, wants to have access to. Um, the other thing we know is that we know, we've heard about, we've all heard and know about this 911 concept, but what that does is it effectively grants every phone locatability. So every phone has location in it. Every single one, okay? And in the case of the CDMA world, um, which is Sprint and Verizon, we're talking about GPS that's been on phones for the better half of a decade. So this is the question that we ask, which is if every phone is locatable and location is the most powerful uh, mobile developer tool that will help you differentiate your mobile application, why hasn't this combination been consummated? Well, that's what we're here to tell you guys about. Um, and two new uh, innovations on location, which, are, which we're just now bringing to market. Um, no. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I need another innovation. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Um, so what do, we, so what, we, what do we want to introduce here? And this is a very, very new concept um, when, it com when, it, when it comes to location. The first thing is ubiquity. So the model today of being able to locate 18% of handsets, you know, expand that into being able to locate almost any handset, okay? 150 million phones on one API, which is a great start. But we think the ability to, lo to, to offer location through remote access through a cloud-based API without the requirement of downloading an application is the second major innovation. So the way to view it is being able to locate every phone, location ubiquity, through a cloud-based API. So a web service, a web application, can just sit there and locate a phone. Um, and we call this Veriplace. And Veriplace is the only platform today that can remotely locate an iPhone or any phone, 150 million phones. Who, who do we think this matters to? any kind of a network effect-based application. Social networks that are dependent on viral acquisition, we don't think can sustain a funnel where they lose 80% of their subscribers um, in, 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 in the viral acquisition process. Marketers and advertisers need mass. So that means 70% of phones need to be able to participate for them to really roll out aggressive spending campaigns on advertising. And then how about SMS services, of which none are locatable right now and can be now? Um, we are also really, really psyched to announce our developer contest, which we're sponsoring, giving cash prizes uh, in, 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 many, in many innovative categories. Um, if you want to um, find out more about our API, um, you can come to our booth, uh, or you can see our CTO, Scott, who is uh, speaking um, at 2.35 today. Thanks. That's all I got. <laughs>